Hi students, coming to next topic that is inter-process communication IPC. So before going to know about this inter-process communication, so let us discuss what is a process. A process is nothing but it is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. To achieve a particular end, uh, we have to take a series of actions or a step that you call it as a process. Okay, so a process within a system may be a process within a system may be uh, it is independent or cooperative. So a process may be independent or cooperative within a system. Suppose if it is an independent, suppose a processor is an independent, it is not affected by execution of other process, not affected by execution of other process, by execution of no other process if it is a cooperative so whatever the process that is uh, taking place within the system so if it is a cooperative then compulsory it is affected it can be affected it can be affected by other executing program other executing program okay so this process is nothing but it is a series of actions that are taking place while executing any program. A process can be independent or a cooperative. Suppose if the process within a system is an independent to each other, then it will not affect by execution of any process because those all process will be independent to each other. If it is cooperative, so all the process will cooperate to each other, then compulsorily it will be affected by executing the other program. If one program is executing, it will be affected by other process. Okay. So, let us see this uh, inter-process communication. So, what is this IPC? Inter-process communication. So, actually this inter-process communication is a mechanism which allows processor to communicate with each other and to synchronize their action. So, we call it is a mechanism. So, it is a mechanism allows process to communicate to communicate each other so whatever the process that are within the system they can communicate with each other and they synchronize their actions synchronize their action so that you call it as inter process communication so this communication is nothing but it is a method of uh, it is in cooperation so i already said that process is a cooperative or an independent so if you take inter process communication it should be compulsory it is a cooperative a cooperation with, between uh, is there between the processor so inter process communication is a mechanism allows process to communicate and communicate each other and to synchronize their actions okay so let us see uh, why we use ipc so i said interprocess communication will be used to communicate all the process with each other and to synchronize their data so why we are going for this ipc is it required to use ipc within a, in the system yes so why we are using this interprocess communication so the first one is information sharing is there information sharing so there is a sh information sharing will be there from one process to another process suppose the process may be present within your system or within another system with the help of networking they will be communicated so if you use inter-process communication there is information sharing will be there and uh, resource sharing so even though not only the information you can share the resource also within the system or within outside the system if you use inter-process communication resource sharing next uh, computational speed will be increasing computation speed up so computation speed up is also increased if you use limited resources if those resources will be sharing by other process also with the help of cooperation then obviously the computation speed is also increased synchronizing 
synchronize synchronization so synchronization here uh, itself with other process by means of sem uh, semaphores okay so synchronization uh, will help to communicate each process one by one uh, each other sorry so it synchronizes the data and uh, it's having the modularity and it is convenience to use interprocess communication okay so for these reasons we are using this interprocess communication information sharing information sharing resource sharing computational speed up synchronization modularity and convenience okay so next coming to the interprocess communication mechanisms so what are these ipc mechanisms so why we are going for this mechanisms so uh, we already seen that why we are using this interprocess communication so let us see the interprocess communication mechanism so here the process can communicate with each other by using two ways in interprocess communication the process can communicate with each other by using shared memory shared memory and message passing okay so these are the two mechanisms that are used in the interprocess communication so shared memory and message passing so let us see one by one so first will be the shared memory okay so shared memory here let us take one diagram uh, in the shared memory so this is uh, here in one system this is a process a some shared memory is there process b and some kernel kernel is nothing but an operating system whatever we are using so here the process where will uh, share the data by using with the help of shared memory that will connect to so and this is another shared memory diagram so here the process a using a memory and in the process b also you are having memory and this is the kernel kernel is having the memory so here this first communicate with the operating system then it sends that message to the process b okay so this is the shared memory here process a so this is the process a so this process a generates information about certain resources so whatever the resources it wants to be used it generate information about that resources and keeps it as a record in the shared memory so it keeps it in a record a particular record so in that record a resources that are used by the process a will be sh uh, saved in the shared memory okay so when process b needs to use shared memory suppose this uh, process b wants to use the shared memory so first what it does it first uh, check the record whatever already present in the shared memory and take a note of information generated by process a so whatever the data that is used in the uh, by the processor a that is already stored in the record so first the process b check the record what type of uh, variables and what type of in, uh, data is sharing by the process a so it, it checks that information and make a notes of information and generated by the process a and it acts according to that okay instead of taking those variables it takes another variables so because already the process a using that thing so that it takes the another uh, resources so this is the cooperation between the uh, two process inter process communication a cooperation exists between the two process so here also in each process you are having the shared memory so whenever the process a use some shared memory it sends that information to the operating system uh, that whatever it is using so 
this kernel operating system is storing that process A information. So whenever process B wants to send some operation or to perform some operation, it first checks the kernel. So is any other device is using the resources or not? If it is using other than that, it takes the another resources. Okay. So here the process can be, can use shared memory for extracting information as a record from other process as well as for delivering any specific information to the other process. Okay. So this is about that shared memory. Now let us see the message passing. So what is that? So I said interprocess communication is of two types. One is shared memory and another is the message passing. So we discuss the shared memory. So next is the message passing. So what is this message passing? Okay. So here the message passing, uh, here process communicates with each other without using any kind of shared memory. In message passing, there is no use of, use of shared memory. So message passing here, process communicates with each other without using any kind of shared resources, shared memory. If two process P1 and P2 wants to communicate, suppose two process will be there P1 and P2. Suppose if these two process wants to be communicate, so what first they have to do? First establish the, first establish a communication link first establish a communication link second what it has to do it has start exchanging exchange message using basic primitives okay so if this pro two process P1 and P2 wants to communicate to each other, first it has to establish a communication link. Suppose if already the link is established, no need to again establish. Once it is established, it will be set. So second thing is it has to start exchange message uh, using a basic primitives. So those primitives are the send and receive. So these are the two basic primitives that are used in the message passing. Send means while sending it ha uh, the send primitive is having message as well as destination to where it has to be sent. So whatever the message that it has to be sent that message and the destination address has to be there. In the receiving message will be there as well as the host from where the message is coming. Okay. So these are the uh, two primitives that are used in the message passing, send and receive. So this message passing may be uh, a direct communication. It may be a direct or indirect communication. Okay. So next it may be asymmetric or asymmetric communication. Or it may be automatic or explicit buffering. So this message ma passing may be it is a direct or indirect, symmetric or asymmetric or automatic or explicit buffering. So let us see here. This is sending process. So sending process required, so whatever it is sending, the message passing module, message passing module. And here, what it is passing, it is passing process ID and message. So whatever the process ID means the uh, uh, ID and the, to where it has to be sent, that process ID and the message is passing. From here, it's having the message passing module 
it sends that message to the receiving process. Okay, so this is the way how the message is passing. Sending process to message module, the message module will send that message with the help of process ID and message that will be placed in the receiving side of the message passing module and from the receiving process. So this is the two types of mechanisms, message passing and the shared memory. So let us see the uh, IPZ, interprocess communication methods. So what are the methods that are present in the interprocess communication?